Hello, I job doer here. And uh, what we're doing now here is we're working on the kitchen remodel. And the first thing we want to do is remove some appliances here. So we're starting with the gas range. And um, this one here in particular is what they call freestanding. Right, so it sits on the ground and it usually slides right back into the wall. And what was here before, I'm pretty sure this is not the original range. My uh, kitchen detectives ability tells me that the way this right here is see how that tile has, kind of has a little bit of a gap here but not so much here and then the tile in the back too is a good tell this decorative part here that goes across and goes behind it that tells me what was probably here before was what they call a drop-in and now a drop-in for a little bit of history here and it might be called something else other places, is a range that usually is uh, like so. You know, it has a flat part, but it does not have this part here raising above. And it has um, usually a more of a built-in look. So it has a, metals, a metal part that, you know, bridges this gap between the counter and the, this range. It had a piece of metal that lip would go around. Also, the bottom is that it would not sit on the ground. You'd actually have your, your toe panel down there and it would actually sit kind of above the toe panel or on it. And that was a drop-in. Now, don't be confused with a cooktop, which is just a cooktop by itself and it sets into the counter. That's just a cooktop. And um, so freestanding, um, drop-in, and, and maybe it was a slide, I don't know. But there's no, there was a version two that, uh, same thing, it's flush with the top here and it actually sits on the floor. But this one here already looked on the bottom and found that there's risers underneath it. So this here is raised up a little bit. Anyways, enough history on that. What we're doing here though is taking away the old one to get ready for the new one. And usually how I handle this, very simple. One, professionally, I put down some kind of protectant on the uh, floor. Now this floor is kind of a harder tile but we don't worry about scraping and scratch or nothing because we don't want to try to refinish it later. And so we have some cardboard down. If you have linoleum, that's a real good thing to put something down so you don't crush it or dent it or scrape it or cut it. So, protection there. And then basically what I'll do is I'll focus up on here and I'll just open up the front of the door and uh, with me, uh, my trusty hands, reach in here and kind of lift up and pull. There. As you can see now, it dropped down some. Yeah. Maybe you didn't see that. But, you can see now if I zoom in on the other side, you can see it's not equal with the top anymore. Because, like I said, the, uh, the legs of this thing sat on risers. Right? So now then, the next thing we want to do is take a look behind the scenes here and see, see what's going on. See if we can get back up in here, see? Um, turn this light. Okay, not sure it's back here, but we'll take a look here. Oh, camera straps back in probably. There we go. So, if you can look way down there, there's a gas line and there's a power cord. And a bunch of dust. And that is good. The uh, gas line is probably around 30 inches per se long. So, that plus the uh, having a power cord, which most of these will have, means I can just uh, pull it out some more. So same thing, I'll open the door again, grab it underneath the front, kind of give a, a lift up. <laughs> Tell about here. Now then, here, what we'll be doing is reassessing how much room I got to work with. So, yeah, dusty, grimy, 
Now, all we gotta do here is uh, reach down, unplug the uh, power cord, right? Let's just plug in the wall down there. So I'll reach down and uh, unplug that with my giant finger. And then, I'm going to your gas line. And I believe if you look closely there, there should be a valve on the gas line. They were so nasty and dirty. So I will uh, brush that off and give it a turn, which should turn the gas off. So let me get that done. And I'll probably pull this out maybe a little bit more even. Right All right, behold, the back side of the range. So, down here, you can see that little styrofoam thing there? That should be removed when they installed this in the first place. That's just packing stuff left over. So, just want to call that out. I didn't do it. Uh, let's see, we'll get back in here. And... Okay, we got... The easy one. With that plug back there, right? Just, uh, hmm... Hit with some of this. All right, yeah. So we can all see better. All right, okay. So, do your thing, plug. And it just, let's move the gas line a little bit. Plug just comes out, all right? That's pretty much a standard for your gas ranges. Now then, what we got left there is a dust and um, a valve. So, valve there. You can see right there the uh, valve is in line, so that means the gas is on. And I believe this one here, you just kind of pull up on it. There, now, valve should be off. I will test it by testing the valve up here. Yes, no gas is rushing out of there. So, last but not least, our friends the uh, adjustable wrench. Just because this could be any size down here. And, um, get it adjusted right. And give a nice little twist off. Nice little twist off, you see? Without letting the valve come off. Lefty Lucy right tidy. Alright. So, someone put this on pretty angrily. Maybe they didn't use uh, Teflon tape, pipe dope, something like that. But I can tell right now the pipe is undoing, but the fittings are not. So that means I need two of these things. All right, so got two of these, you see. Now I'll cram back here and see what's going on. This here for the, uh, the big one. This here for the littler one. And squeeze them. You know what? Before I bust a blood vessel in my head, maybe I'll just uh, work on the other side. If you can't get that side done, maybe work on this uh, side back here. All right.
works. This seems a little weird too, the way it's positioned, but um, ah, much easier. These are flared fittings, so they shouldn't have to be ogre strength tightened. All right, we get this thing off like that, and come back on this side here. And just simply uh, do a little magic snake trick here. There, ever never it's out. Now then, this gas line. Uh, that I'll do it. I'll set up on top of the range for now and uh, retrieve my trusty camera from the bowels of the dust. Basically, that there is it. So. Now, we're going to leave that off, and it did not move any of the plumbing down here, so it's still uh, gas tight, per se. And uh, uh, we'll call it cleanup crew, but we'll probably not need these bricks here. They were, hand they were lifting it up, although we might. We'll keep it on just in case. The new one's a little bit bigger than this one. You'll, you'll see in a later video. And um, you can see here that they had a little uh, thing for the wood there, right, to keep the, uh, the front part up. And um, funny thing is, it looks like they don't even have the legs this thing here comes with. Well, okay, maybe they do. They have the legs extended a little bit, but I think it a little bit more. Anyways, so this right here, we'll do next, yeah, is basically boring stuff, like I'll take a box, box up all these burners here. You know, they all come in like so. Uh, take this thing here off. This right here, off. All this will go in a box and put inside the belly of this beast here. And uh, hauled off, sold whatever. This is where the dolly comes in and, and carries it away. So, step one, uninstall Gas oven, done. Hopefully not a long video, not a hard one. If you were just, you know, doing this kind of range, you would just, uh, you know, I would get another gas line, maybe, and just put it back in. Right. Anyways, thanks for watching. Any questions, comments, leave them below, and there's more to come. After I haul this out.